Hey guys, Tyler here from GarageWarrior.com and I had a really cool question. This one's a good one because not a lot of people examine this amount of detail in their exercises. And the question was, what is a good position in the handstand for your head? What's a good head position? And so what we constantly see people do is they come into that handstand, they have a little bit of arch in their back, and they crank their neck back and they look up at their hands. Now this is the easiest head position to hold a handstand in, but an example is when you look up, you activate those posterior chain muscles, those spinal erector muscles, and it encourages a back bend. And if you want to get good at handstands, handstand push-ups, getting to one-arm handstands, you can't have that back bend and, and make it easier on you. Some people can do it. I've only seen it done way in the past, but for the most part, almost everybody who's doing awesome handstand work has that neutral spine, eyes up, tall to the top of the head, tight core, not bent back position. So let me show you a beginner, intermediate, and advanced head position that you can practice in your handstands. So first, the beginner is always looking up at your hands, all right, and that spot between your hands. And as you get better, what you're going to want to do is tuck your head between your arms so your biceps are right by your ears, and you're looking straight forward with your eyes looking up. So your body's straight forward, but your eyes are still looking up at a point a few feet in front of your hands. That's intermediate. It's still pretty advanced. And the final one is you know you're extremely advanced at holding a perfect handstand when you can actually look down at your toes in the handstand position. So an easy way to practice this is in the face-to-wall handstand, and you work up those three levels. So once you can do a few sets of 30 to 60 seconds where your head's back like this and you're looking at your hands, you see that little back arch I get right there? Then you do 30 to 60 seconds like this, and then you try to get good at 30 to 60 seconds where you can actually see your toes. Once you get good at those three positions and you master that head towards toes, you will have awesome control in your handstand position. So if you guys dig this video, click the like button right there, help me spread the warrior message, leave a comment, let me know where you're at in your handstand, what head position you've been using, and what head position you think you should be using, as well as go to garagewarrior.com where you can get hundreds of more free videos on how to work out with your body weight and how to live the warrior lifestyle. Thanks so much for watching.